think we'll get started. Good evening. Thank you for coming out on this snowy evening. Tonight, it's my privilege to introduce Wayland resident and self-taught silk artist, Kathy Dafina. <laughs> Kathy has been painting for over 20 years, but fell in love with the art of silk painting within the last five. Her passion led her to study under one of the few master silk painters, and she continues to learn and grow her art. Her concentration is wearable art, and her dream is to have her fine, silk, uh, fine art silk paintings shown in galleries. Just a quick note, this presentation is being filmed by Waycam, so you may see at the back of your head on TV. Um, it will also be available on YouTube. But thank you so much to Kathy for sharing your gorgeous art with us tonight, and please join me in welcoming her to the library. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Um, I'm going to start with I am not an expert, and I've never done this before, so bear with me and go with the flow. Get it? <laughs> so like she said, um, I'm from Wayland. I have four kids. They're all grown in their 20s. And I started painting when they were young, and we lived on West Plain Street, and I needed something to do. I was like, oh, I really want to paint this stuff. And my husband's like, if you don't like it, just paint over it. I'm like, I can do that. OK. So I started painting murals, and then I started painting on everything from wine glasses to slates, driftwood. Anything I could paint on, I just did it. So um, then I morphed to this because my son had a company, and he <coughs> started selling merchandise with their logo on it, and they needed something for women. And I was like, oh, that's something I could probably figure out what to do. And um, one of our staff members at work had come in with these gorgeous, gorgeous scarves. And she had done a different type of silk painting. It was alter ego painting. Um, you would, I don't even know the techniques, but um, you'd use two different colors. And part of it would come out in one color, part would come out in the other color. I was like, oh, that would be really cool, but I don't want to do what she does. I don't want to, you know, get into her business. So I said, I'll research it. I researched it. I YouTubed everything, and <laughs> Pinterest, and then I figured out, uh, okay, if I'm going to do this, I have a lot of stuff to figure out. So um, I just went from there. And But then my uh, son's logo is a kangaroo. But just so happens when you paint it on a scarf or a silk tie, it looks like a Playboy bunny. <laughs> so I said, okay. <laughs> I said, okay, this isn't going to work. <laughs> so um, I, luckily, I'd only done a few scarves, but I had done quite a few ties. So I ended up, just, I gave the boys the ties, and I said, okay, you go, you can wear them. Tell everybody you got a Playboy bunny on your tie. I'm a kid. <laughs> and um, then I ended up cutting up the scarves. The, the ties and using the ribbons for, uh, I cut it into ribbons. I made lucky ribbon ties. I made tassels. I went, I saved it because everybody says, don't ever throw away a piece of silk. So it's my lucky silk. I, I use it for everything. I've made necklaces, um, lampshade. There's endless amount of things you can do with a piece of silk. And it makes you feel good. So um, I guess that's how I got started with the, the scarves. Um, <clears throat> now, w the technique that I use is so many different techniques. The technique I use is, I, it's an actually a dye. It's not a paint. So if you were to paint it, it would sit on top of the fiber. This is a dye, so it penetrates into the silk fibers. So um, you have to, first, you get the blank scarf. So sh where, oh, this is the blank scarf right here. So you can order silk just um, online, or I order the blank scarves because it's already hemmed because I have no desire to hem silk. So um, it starts out like this, and you there's so many different techniques you can use. There are, I can show you some. This here uses, this used um, a resist. Anywhere you see the white lines, a resist is a, a like a barrier, almost like batik when using the wax, so the lines would be like where the wax would go, and then it prevents the dye from going you know, past it. Do you actually use wax on it? No, I use a water-based resist. Oh, okay. There are different types of resist. There's a gouda resist that has to be dry clean to have it removed. I don't care to do that because it, it really um, has an offensive smell, too. So 
Um, this one would be something like what you're doing tonight, a freehand scarf, all the, it's, a, you, we dampen the scarf, and then when you paint it, the, the I'd say paint it, but it's a dye, it uh, spreads on its own, so sometimes you have no control over what it looks like, and that's the beauty of it, because it's like alive. This one is a scarf that I used a starch on it. I used a spray starch first, and it prevents, it's another way of preventing the dye spreading, so you can um, do these extra lines on top of the silk, and it won't just go, um, that's another type of technique. This one is uh, just the different textured silks that you can buy, and it takes the dyes in a different manner. And this is another, this is more like a, a landscape design. It uses a dry method. Instead of spraying the silk with water first, you put it on dry and it makes these crisp lines. And you can also use alcohol, and alcohol will push your dye around on the scarf. Um, I love to use salts. Oh, I guess I didn't even bring a salt one, but lucky for us, we have a salt scarf right here. <laughs> Linda's wearing <laughs> So as the dye is drying, you can sprinkle the salt wherever you want it. You concentrate in some places and not the others. And when the salt hits the dye, it sucks up the dye um, as it's drying. And again, you have no control over what it does, and it depends on the the size of salt granules that you use. You can use sugar, um, you can use alum. There's is the salt on the blood? The white spots there. Yeah, yeah. Here's, here's another dry landscape design. So, I mean, just, I'm just showing these. These are all the different types of techniques that you can use. I love this because I like the crisp lines. And the technique right up here is where you don't paint the whole thing. Um, it comes out looking like clouds. So every time you do something, it's like an experiment. And uh, you can make a mistake, and you know what? Nobody's going to know because it's your idea. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. You can do, you, you can just do whatever you wanted, and it will be like, oh, yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> you know? and, and nobody will know. And sometimes I've actually done the scarves, and I started out using a chemical set, but it took out all the dye, and it, I didn't like using so much chemical stuff, so um, like one time I forgot to um, set the dye, and I put it through the washing machine, and I was like, oh my god, I ruined it, and I'm like, they were like, well, no, you didn't ruin it, now it's just pale, it was just a pale scarf, <laughs> so, and somebody bought it, so you know, <laughs> you just never know, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, the eye, what is it, what is the, the eye of the beholder, right? Um, let's see, so we went over the resist. So before you can start painting on the scarf, you have to wash it first with a uh, detergent called Synthropol. It takes the gum or fingerprints off of the dye that's left from when they, you know, uh, made it. Um, the silkworms will sometimes leave a little gunky stuff on there, so. If you don't do that, you'll get funny splotches on it. But then again, it depends on your technique. You might never even notice it, right? Um, oh, Synthropol. It's, yeah, it's on one of the. So I buy my um, supplies from DharmaTrading.com. And during the fires in California, they had problems with their warehouse. So it was like all the silk pages, like, what are we going to do now? They're, pretty much the only ones that are around here. DickBlick.com has some stuff. Um, I pretty much just used Dharma Trading. Uh, there's, there's different sizes, different types of silk. Uh, these are all different, well, different types of silk there, and I brought another one. Um, the descriptions explain the types of, this is a silk chamoose. Feel how heavy that is. It's beautiful, right? It doesn't. Stay it does stay thick, but it does. You can pass it around. It doesn't um, t take the dye as well as other silk. 
Um, <clears throat> and again, here's another technique. I went to California to study under, I, th I think there's only 12 master silk painters. And this is a different technique where you use absolutely no water. Um, and you basically scrub the, the dye into the, we did, we did one petal at a time. And you scrub the dye into the petal as you go. And it took a week, about a week to do this. It was, it was so much fun. I'm going back again, too. So excited. So excited. Um, I'm going to be doing a pelican. And I'm scared to death because it's going to be really hard. But if I mess up, I can put it in my living room and no one will know, right? <laughs> is, is the silk naturally white, or does it convert to, to gray? No, it's all white. Um, I don't know, actually. But it's always white when you It's always white when I buy. You can buy colored silk, uh, but then you'd have to take the color out of it. So <laughs> you can add to it? You can add to it, but the color won't be the same. So you know, it depends on the types of colors that you're using. Like uh, you could put a blue and a pink on, and you'll get purple. Like I'll do that sometimes. I'm doing something, and I'm like, I'll do blue and pink. And I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't put purple on here. Where did that come from? So. Um, yeah. Everybody ready to paint? So I have two different types here. I thought that we could try, um, everybody give it a little shot at some freehand. I brought some colors, so it's not going to depend on, <laughs> on, on what color you use. When it hits each other, it's going to create this magic, okay? And then this one over here I did with um, the resist, and you, you can see it when you get on here. It's a white kind of clear resist, and it makes it hard for now. And you actually iron it. it. There's different types of resist. I use the one that you have to iron. You heat set it, you heat set it first. You iron it on the back first, and then um, you'll be able to watch how the silk just like goes right out and, and hits the barrier. It's really cool. No, I drew lines. So it's, little, it's flowers and petals, and when you come up here, you'll be able to see it. Um, then there's a couple little butterflies in there. <laughs> um, I didn't bring salt. Uh, I did bring alcohol. The salt will take too long to dry. We wouldn't have enough time, and I'd be making a big mess. So um, any questions before we start? It's dye. It's, yeah, it's a silk dye. Nope, it's, um, it's jacquard. I use jacquard red label. There's a jacquard red label and a green label. The green label can be chemi chemically set. I don't like using the chemicals, so I use the red. The red has to be steam set. Oh, that's one of the pictures that I, sh I sent everybody. Um, the steamer is in my living room, and it kind of sounds like a freight train. So it's just a, um, a heating, you know, one of those little cook cook heating, what do you call those things, a burner. And I have an induction burner, so you have the plate that goes on top of it. And I use like a spaghetti pot or a lobster pot on top, and I about put about four inches of water in it because they have to be steam set for two hours at a time, so you don't want to run out of water. And on top of the pot is a stove pipe with a flange on the bottom, so it sits directly on top of it. And you have to heat your silk, you, or you wrap your silk in newsprint. Okay, after you've done all of this, you let it sit for a day, you wrap it in newsprint in a roll just like this. And I hang it in a pillowcase, and it sits in the steamer like this vertically. And the steamer has two slits on the side that I use a totally homemade here. <laughs> coat hanger, the wire coat hangers. And you slit the, you, know, you put the wire coat hangers in the slits. I think you can see it on the picture. And on top, you put um, dish towels so it absor absorbs the water because you don't want the water to come back from the condensation come back into the silk because then it will run. So um, <clears throat> the water has to, the, the silk has to steam at 212 degrees for two hours. And then after it's steamed, you take it out and let it sit for a while, and I usually let it sit for a day, and then you wash it. That removes any resist that's on it, and you wash it again with the synthropol detergent. Wow. 
No, you can put, depending on the size of scarf, I will, these sizes I would do one at a time. Um, but maybe two in the pouch inside the steamer. But I have some smaller scarfs that you can do three, four. Yes, so you can't touch it. You need at least two inches in between the scarves. Well, I lay my paper, my paper is usually wider here, and I roll it out on the table, and you lay out your scarves and leave like two inches in between, and then roll it up that way. And then you just tape it with masking tape. No, no, you have to make sure that it's boiling constantly. Uh, and, and mine's not even a tall steamer. I need a taller one. Um, you can have them up to six or seven feet high. If you have enough water in it, you steam. You, if it's that big, then you need to insulate the outside of the stovepipe because you have to make sure that it stay, the steam hits, goes through all of your bags into your silk. Right. Uh, a newsprint. It's just plain newsprint. I don't use it with, <laughs> if you do use it, you can use it, but that has to be an old newspaper. Um, if, if it's too new, the ink will come off. So you use a newsprint that has to be printed. Right, right. So you can get that. I haven't got it from, there's no newspapers left around. You used to be able to buy the end of a roll, right? Not so much anymore, so I have to, I get mine from Amazon. But, um, and you usually put like two to three layers of paper down first, and then you put your silk on it and roll it up. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want the silk touching the silk. So, and it, it will go through one layer. So you don't want that to happen to you. So you need like two to three pieces in between, and you don't want it to touch each other. Yeah. Yeah, I know. She's my slave driver. We're going to see her every day. I'm like, oh, my God. Okay, I did, Tom. So why do you choose to do that? Yes. Is there only, like, big cities or Oh, why do I steam it? Yes. Oh, well, because if you steam it, the colors, it, it, it's an amazing difference from when you paint it to when you steam it. It just makes the colors just pop. Um, and when you use the chemical set, I, I bought the chemicals. I didn't, you know, use anything. I, I don't know if you can use anything else other than the stuff you buy. But um, they, they really dulled the dye. It took a lot of it out. And I, I just didn't like the look of it. I mean, if you like, I love color. You can't tell by tonight. But <laughs> <laughs> I wear black when I paint. <laughs> uh, so you can't tell. <laughs> But it, it, it's just amazing, and it, it just sets better. So you can wash it after you've, uh, after it's been steamed, and you wash it, you iron it again, and um, there should be no color left by then. So you can, you can wear it without getting your neck all colored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, no, there are some people actually curl theirs up like this, like a like a curl, like this, and put it in a rice bamboo steamer. You can set them in a microwave, um, but it tends to um, you can make wrinkles in it, and they might not go away. So I, I do them flat without any making any wrinkles when I'm rolling it up. It should be flat when you're rolling it up. Of steaming, yes. Oh no, Dharma Trading um, has all sorts of tutorials. They'll show you how to make the steamers. Uh, you can buy them too, but they're like twelve hundred dollars. Uh, they there are horizontal it's steamers. Easy. It's pretty well set, and you find out that you are. Right, right. That you have to set it at two hundred and twelve degrees. This, if you don't, it, the dye will it will come out.
Um, so there's certain things that you have to do. You have to, depending on the dye that you're using too, they'll tell you how long you have to steam it for. But it, mine seemed to come out good at two hours, so I'll do two hours. And the burner that I have will shut off after two hours, which is really nice. Because um, you don't have to sit there and wait. Anything else? <laughs> She's impressed. I, I work with her. <laughs> I paid her a lot. <laughs> My craft beers. Yeah. And then I panic, and, and I always have plenty. <laughs> but I do, I mean, there's so many things that you can do with the silk. If you make a mistake or something, you really just can't stand it, and you can't stand the thought of giving it to somebody, okay, <laughs> you can, you know, cut it up and do different things with it. I make tassels. <laughs> I make necklaces. Oh, yeah. And, and little, I have little tiny prints because the texture on the silk is just, I mean, I love the color. It's amazing. It just, the colors just, you look at it, it's kind of like being at the ocean. I'm like, oh, you know, it's just really relaxing to me. So um, what else do I make? I make lampshades of the best because they're in little wine, wine, wine glasses with uh, battery operated candles. And so nobody knows what you're doing. You can sit there drinking all day and nobody will know. <laughs> But no, they're really cute. <laughs> now my secret's out. <laughs> um, it's a, it's a, I have different pendants. I have circles, rectangles, squares. Uh, and it comes in two pieces, so you have a front and a back. And you have to adhere the silk to the front, and then you press it into the back. And it's a disc, yeah. And then you, the prongs you push in. And then voila, you're a beauty. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ties. I have some ties. But the. Yep. Yep. You can do anything with the resist, you know. Um, but it, it, like people will say, well, why aren't you painting animals and dogs? Well, I'm not a dog person. I don't want to paint a dog. You know, so I mean, <laughs> so you can paint anything. So let's get started. Who wants to paint? This? Oh, I brought some so you can see it. Oh, I'll show you the salt. You can use any kind of salt, but this is a nice big grain. This is the resist. And you have to dilute that, so it dilutes into something like this. <laughs> Isn't that nice? And here's the salt. If you want to pass this around, take a peek at the grains. Um, you can do small grains, and it does a whole different effect. The PVC pipes you get at you know Home Depot, or whatever, and they're really long. And I use this to cut them to the right size. It's a big, giant razor blade. You know. So you can make any size that you want. So a uh, corner of my house is loaded with these. And this is the spray starch that I talked about that you can spray on it. You let it dry. And then um, as you're, yeah, it doesn't run. So you don't need a resist. You're not going to get as crisp a line, but it, it will let you do certain designs. Okay. Yep, I'll even let two people do it. Is there any starch on this one? Nothing's on this now. This one doesn't have starch, it has resist. So starch water. This is just water. Oh. Your dyes are liquid, right? Yes. Do they come from a powder that you make with this? No, they, yep. Yep, these are Jacquard Red Label. No, you don't want to soak it. You want to spray it lightly. Yeah. Just watch your mask. Did you talk about the plucking material? Does that get sand out like a dry rubber or anything? Because the silk is very expensive. No, uh, they're really not expensive. Something like this would probably cost about $15 just for this scarf. 
And the dye lasts for a really long time because they're usually diluted. Do you want to spray? Oh, okay. Oh, we, we paint too, but you're going to get it wet first. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. And I reason I use these, somebody asked earlier, is because my table at home isn't as long. So um, the legs wouldn't fit on the table, so I had to lift it up. Or else you break your back. You know, you're down with painting like that all the time. Okay. Did everybody sign their name and phone number? We're going to give away a scar the scarf at the end. You can pass it around. Yes. Okay. Oh, these are the yeah. blanks there. Yeah. And, and do you have any more detailed sheets? Oh, yes, I do. I have more sheets. You can put them in here when you're done. Right. That's good. All right. All right. So these are the paintbrushes. I forgot I had my necklace. Oh, she has her necklace. So this is from, isn't it cool? So the design here is made from the, the salt. So if you take one, you can just get the other Yeah, you can. <laughs> That's gorgeous. And do, do you cover the silk with something? No. This is the silk mounted on? Yes. It's already been uh, set. Uh, oh, that's the way the, the blank yeah. is. Yeah, there's an inside piece. There's a piece inside. Just that that's sitting on. Right. And this is glued on top? Right. Thank you. Sure. Thanks. <laughs> Isn't it fun? All right, everybody got their name in here? Mm -hmm. All right, are you feeling lucky? Yeah. Well, good, we're going to let you wait till the end of the night. <laughs> Dharma trading. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there aren't many um, sizes. I, I finally asked for some silver ones, and they normally sell those in bulk. So um, I said these are just fine for now. <laughs> and I bought the matching. Yeah, the tiny print. The tiny print on my desk. <laughs> so I love it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I actually tied that for her. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Anybody want to come up and try it? You do it first. Oh, yeah, we'll okay, okay. Yeah. So I have what? Oh, yeah, come on up. Come on up. This is all about you guys feeling the, the paint on the silk and, you know, trying the whole thing out. So. I have cyan, which I never knew was blue until uh, the copier at work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They kept asking me for cyan. I'm like, what the hell is cyan? <laughs> blue. <laughs> Kelly green. Oh, sure. <laughs> marine green and purple. Yeah. So the blues and greens would be the main color. And if anybody was daring and wanted to try the purple, they could add their little details in there. So what you do is. <clears throat> I'll start with, oh, did you see the um, pins here are really sharp, so the, the, the hooks. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'll start with a, a big piece. Now, hmm? Yes, they are. Did you devise that or is that Dharma? These? No, I bought them from Dharma. <laughs> It's a great company. Yeah. <laughs> so you just dip it in a little bit, okay? Now the edges, since it's a rolled hem, they'll take more dye than the rest of it. So you have to make sure that you uh, color all the way to the edge, okay? So I'm just going to do, since I love the ocean and I love mm. swoops, so you can just do like this. And watch, see how it's spreading out like this? It's because of the water. Do you ever add water to your dyes? Or you you can. Um, you can add water, vodka, and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? Are you serious? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm totally serious. Um, the each each one has a different um, property okay. to them. So one helps suspend and one helps uh, stay wet a little bit longer. There's the other one is if you use the spray ball, uh, the spray starch, if you spray it into a container, let all the foam get out of it, that will also help. Fun? Yeah. All right, who's up? Press. Who's up for a turn? So now you can just go probably keep like a half an inch away from this color and we'll watch how it blends into it. Right, okay. right. So this is a, the wet method, okay? Um, who wants to try it? Oh, come on! Oh. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we got, you can pick your color. Kelly Green, Cyan. Who wants what? Okay. So just, you don't, you don't, put the whole thing in, just the tip of it in, and then you can always add more afterwards. Oh, I have gloves if you want gloves. I never use gloves. It comes off. <laughs> what machine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it will, yeah, it will spread. Pass them along. You guys can use, you want to do a thin lines? You can do thin lines. Can I have a brush to get out? You want us to do something else down here? Sure. You want to pass the purple? Okay. <laughs> oh. She's got something in her mind. Oh, I spilled a little. No, this is all for you guys. Well, I'm going to show you that separately. Okay. Press me the paper towels. I just wanted to grab a paper towel for that. There it is. It, you need that paper towel for that bottle down there. I think it got some on the bottom. Oh, yeah, I love swirls. It's my favorite. <laughs> There's a, the company that I go by is Serendipity, Serendipity Silks, and I always do swirls. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try it, Kath? <laughs> you can, yeah. I I don't tend to do that much just because I keep the brushes separate from the colors. Mm. Um, I can show you. Do we have an empty brush down there? It's an empty brush. Oh, is it? Em there's nothing on it? This one can be. nothing on it? Okay. Thanks. I'll show you this one here with water first. With wind vane. Okay. Where's my water? Well, I told him. I know. I'll, I'll look. I'll enjoy. I listen. But it's wind. Then it will be beautiful. <laughs> so what you do here, we're going to start with water. Oh, it helps if I put the water in the cup, right? <laughs> so you can see where the silk, the dye is going to go. Okay? Uh, no, we don't spray this one. So say you're going to do a petal. You do the water first. And then you can go in with your colors. So can you start with a lighter color? And then and yes. darker color in the middle of it, so it spreads. Mm -hmm. So you don't mind that the brush then touches another color. Oh, well, you would use a different brush for yeah. a different color. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. But if you're going to do, uh, would you do a different color? Yes, I would. So do you have these two colors? Yep. Apricot is lighter. I'd start with the apricot, then I would put a dot of this on top. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. And then if sorry, you could just wipe it off. Yeah. <laughs> To save time, do you do wet all of them and then go in with the different colors? No. Or one oh. Depends on my mood. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you can. I don't know if it has to be soft and wet. No, you don't want it soft and wet. So you just want to so do what it. what if you don't wet it? Yeah. So, like, I would just do it down the middle and watch it spread. Yeah. What if you don't wet it? 
then you're going to get the dry look like those landscapes. You'll get hard lines in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Which you might want or not. Right. Yeah. Depends yeah. on if you want it or not. Right. So, what did you turn? Do water? Oh, this is just water. water yep. Here? You didn't have a turn. Yes. How about so you put the water in first and then a color? Yeah. This okay. is just water, right? Can I get some water for that sure. side of the table? Well, you do use alcohol and water, so. Oh, yeah, let's go grab these brushes down here. This is the resist. This is the resist, so you put that on first. I put this on the other scarf first. Oh, okay. So yep. that, in effect, then your y dye won't touch it. Right. Then you have to dilute this. This is, you can't put it on just like this. You have to do 50 50. And this. you still paint the resist on? You, you paint the lines? Yep. Well, actually, I use a, uh, I'll show you. You can, you can dip it in one of the cups with water and get the color out of it. Oh, here it, no? Oh, here it is. This is how I put the resist on. There's a little bottle like this, and you, you mix the resist, you dilute it with either a dye or water, and you pour it in this little bottle. And this has a little uh, nib on it, and they ha come in different sizes. So Point you can make the width of the line, whatever. Right. And so you I use it. Where you're moving it the right length. Right. If you wait, this can go blur. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't you stop. You got to make sure there's no air bubbles. Like calligraphy, you really have to do it right. <laughs> right, well, you have to do it smooth, and you get it, you know, the pressure has to be the same. And it's pretty much water coming out. Uh, consistency. It's, it's like a glue, it's like, like a Elmer's, glue. Like an Elmer's oh, okay. glue. So you're, you're basically caulking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A little bit less than caulking, yeah. a little bit looser yeah. I don't. I do different things. Depends on my um, mood. Very good. <laughs> Are there any more brushes? Oh, here. Here's some down here. Here's more brushes. This one won't take as much um, dye, so use one of the other ones. I just wanted to show you the difference. <laughs> Is that too thick for a flower? I don't think so. Here, this is fun. Fancy. Carol, aren't you hot? You not going to try it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Lois, did you try it? I'm sweating. I love the dot addition. I no, I do not have any of the buttons. Let's put it in some water. What color is this? You're bad. <laughs> I like these look like little birds. So I do this here. Oh, okay. And I have these powder dyes. Like some powder. I am looking for a place to give them to. Oh. Um, what do you mix them with? Well, um, a little bit of salt and like washing soda. Oh, yeah. I have never used it, but if you're giving them away, I'll, I'll give them to you. You can play around with them. I'd love to try them. Really? Um, I'll give you a bunch of them. I'll give you some of the chemicals too that I mix with them. You can play around because you're experimenting. Yeah. I see what it does for you. I, I fatigue myself with them. Oh. And what? what do you done, use the tanging? Is that what it's yeah. called? Yeah, the tanging tools, yeah. Wow. And um, what I do then is I iron out the gas. Oh, okay, yeah. And that process it. But 
I'm not wearing it. They're, they're long. Oh, they're, okay. Yeah. Um, I used to make T-shirts, though. Oh. And then I did wash them. So, <laughs> you know. But then I think I was using clothes to make dyes. And okay. Anyway, I'd be very happy to give you them. Oh, I would be pleased. And if they work out for you, I am with my blessing. Thank you. I would love it. Yeah. Yeah. We need a fourth color. We have yellow or pink. That's yellow. it. Yeah. They're over there. Did you see the painting that I did? This didn't yeah, use the resist. Okay, this was. We used a combination of vodka, alcohol, and the liquid starch. So this is the silk, the whole. Yes. And we drew the row, the petals on first, and then the. Black was done afterwards. What did you do? Yeah. Wash it off? Yeah. I mean, no. Yes. How did you make it black? Oh, yeah. oh, it was it dyed. It's dyed. So yeah, I know, the, but was this all a resist? No. With the black? This is just the um, canvas. Oh, it's a canvas. Yeah. So you painted So we paint. No, well, no, I, I had the silk. I did the yeah. silk just like this. Okay. And then okay. we mounted it with a, a type of varnish. Okay. Uh, and then you called? painted on the black? Black is so, I, yeah. so dark. Right. We painted it on. We painted the black before it was mounted onto How this. Did you not get it on the I'm talented. Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> did you, no. Was there a resist along the um, What we used here is yeah, each petal was done one at a time. So um, when we did that, well, I scrubbed on the um, vodka, alcohol, and the um, starch scrubbed it into the spot that I wanted to do and that keeps it wet enough so that you can spend a little time and put it on so basically these were everything was done and then we had to go back and do the black but we did the same thing you had to scrub it on and make sure it got deep into the silk and was it like a special scrub brush it was <laughs> q-tip we use Q-tips and makeup brushes, oh, little wow. tiny little. Wow. That's amazing because there's no sign of shaving yeah. here at all. I know. And you use a Q-tip. Yeah. Because the silk just absorbed it so beautifully. Yeah, I think it's the dye, actually. Um, not all black. It's like That's the only dye will won't have the different variations. Yeah. So Kathy, how yeah. do you? First of all, you have to imagine it in your head, yeah. right? I mean, this isn't. Oh, I drew it on. But you're shading. Yes. How do you get this um, intensity down to light to nothing? So um, that I get the texture. You do of your the you do your light first, and no, it won't bleed because of what I spread on it first. Um, and when you're getting your paints ready or your dyes ready, you uh, start with your darkest, and then you you spread it out so you can see how light you want it to go. Um, like a lot of this is just not painted on it, or it's my lightest highlight color. And then you, you just work harder and harder yeah. to get this darker? Yeah. And You're you add, different. this is, has a little bit of night yeah. blue in it. That's how it got darker. Right. Boy, and if you make a mistake, so you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> That's gorgeous. That's all right. Thanks. There was, um, there, was <laughs> there was four of us in the class, and one woman was an oil painter, and she absolutely hated the class because it's such a, a non-forgiving medium, and oil painting you just is. Paint it, over it and you just yeah, and this is not. It was too stressful for her. She said she would never do it again. And I was like, I love it. But see, the best part was I thought was the water droplets. Yeah. Um, I stayed at her house, and she had this huge painting of grapes. And they all had these water droplets on. And I was like, you have to teach me how to do that before I leave. She said, oh, good. Put four of them on because I have four kids. She said, put one on for each kid. I said, OK. And then I was like, well, I want one. And then I'm like, well, i got to get my husband one now. So <laughs> so I was just looking for him. And when you mount it, it gets darker. So it's one, two, three, it's four, five. You use the um, alcohol on a tiny, tiny little makeup brush and you like take the dye away from it and then what makes it look like the water droplet is this, it, you put a tiny bit of white acrylic paint on it, just a little dot. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
That's from working it out, yeah. It moves its way out. That is wonderful. Isn't it cool? It is. It is. Yes, I Oh, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm still fascinated with it. I'm going to go back in uh, November, so I, you had to plan a year ahead for me. It's in Seattle, Washington. This took a week. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it took a week because she started from the very beginning and went through everything from the start. How you know, um, from no, uh, well, we started painting the first day, well, late in the first day, but it was just the combination of we worked from like eight till eight every day, and just she was just full with information. I mean, it, it was amazing. That is with another resist. And it's a, a metallic resist, and it's with that nib, that little bottle with the nib. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I used to just sign. You mess up the whole thing by signing. Yeah, I know. It was very stressful. <laughs> the worst part about it was mounting it. I'm telling you, I was like working up a sweat. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, because you have to work fast because it will make a white haze on it if you wait and it starts to dry. So I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you say you put on the back to adhere it? What did you it mean? was a type of uh, varnish. It's diluted 50-50 and a brush. And it's on a, um, a spinner. So you're actually spinning it around and on the canvas, yeah. And the other part that was stressful was that we had painted it all. And she's, okay, now you got to rip off a half an inch on each side. I'm like, oh, what? Oh, why did you say that earlier? Oh, sure, I know. So, uh, and the funny part was she caught me. I didn't do a half an inch on both sides because I liked the part over here. I didn't want to lose it. <laughs> so so I did like a quarter of an inch. She's like, who did this? <laughs> um, it's to make the nice edge because the dye didn't go all the way to the edges, you know. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Did you have a, a flower that you had seen? Uh, she actually had taken a picture of a flower, and then she blew it up and um, drew it, and then she painted it, and then we took the um, the painting that she that she drew. She sketched it. So it was an outline. It was an outline. So then we had to sketch it on our own silk. So we did the sketching, but we didn't blow it up. So as we were painting it, we were looking at the picture that she took and her painting, and we kind of blended them together. And you do what you want. Yeah. I don't have those to look at. So <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. I mean, getting the whole the curvature is just, you know how to do those things. I, I, and I'm still amazed. I'm like, wow. You know, I look at it, and I'm like, oh, I really like this. <laughs> you know, so it's still, it's, it's just, I love it. Yeah. It's yeah, fun. No, it's great. This kind of work, yeah. Never. This, this is, is the first one. Yeah. So this is the biggest you ever made a school that you've ever made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. You come oh, I do. I. That's a water drop. I asked her to teach me how to do it. Really? Yeah. So we were at her house, and she had these bunches of grapes painted. Yeah. When I mounted them, they hid them a little bit. Um, I said, you have to teach me how to do that, because I loved it. Yeah. It's so cool. I'm going to make drops in every one I do. Yes. I'm sorry. Just leave it? Yeah, that that'll be a resist. You won't see. That'll be clear. Now, what do you do with the rest of the? Yeah. Uh, oh, you can do whatever you want. I mean, I would probably do a um, a light blue. We have 
we have blue over here, and we can. Oh yeah, and then we can um, dilute it with some water. You can do whatever color you want. <laughs> Ooh, look at the veins. So you wrap this up in the newsprint, mm -hmm. steam it for yep. two hours, then you let it dry in two days? I let it dry for a day. A day. It's going to be more vivid. And then you unwrap it and the paper doesn't stick to it? No. It might stick to some resist, but it comes right off. And then when you unwrap it, you then uh, put some fixer on it? Uh, no, that's what the steaming did. The steaming steaming, fixed steaming it. fixes it. So it won't bleed anymore? No, it's done. no, yeah. Yeah, well, then you wash it. You have to wash it after you steam it. Because before you steam it, it's kind of like this will dry, a little crusty kind of. So when you finish washing, washing it, take some of the dye out, mm -hmm. excess or whatever. Yeah. And at that point, it's fixed and you'll and wash it. Done. Presumably, you can wash it indefinitely. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. you've only worked with silk. Yeah. You haven't tried any other materials? No. This looks like a, just probably the best material. Yeah, I, I mean, mean... If you're working with cotton and those other things, they don't... It, it, it won't it move as much, I don't well, think. It, 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 you can't get fine detail, and you want the uniformity that cotton fabric yeah. doesn't give you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's quite nice. You can do whatever you want. Oh, wait. I have one. Yeah. Okay. See, test it on a, a paper towel. Okay, paper towels. So these petals have a resist all the way around. So yes. You won't get the blue one. Yeah, but I love the blue one. Yeah. Do you have a blue one, a brush over there? Because this looks like an orange. When you yeah. Wow. And you get all your dyes on that Dharma. Mm -hmm. Now, Kathy, do you have this to was the with the background? If if you're gonna paint it, I didn't know. I didn't think we'd have enough time. Did you put the yellow in and then? The what time is it? Yeah. There was white just unfinished uh, silk there, and they only gave you 15 minutes on the website. Right. Is that what it says? Oh, did they? I think it's we're done it. We're done at 8:45. We have to be out by 8:45. What's that? I think they closed the library. They close at nine, right? Yeah, so they try to get everybody out. Right. Maybe we can all pitch in and clean up. You can spray that. Any dark purple around? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't. Spray the background. Oh, it's over here. Purple's over there. Here we go. I want to do something. So, what do you think? Is it crazy? Right. Right. I love this look right here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and now, if if you wanted to add salt, you would add it at this time. Alcohol, you could try. You want to try a little alcohol? See what it does? Yeah. No, it's rubbing alcohol. Oh. 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 Okay. You want to see it? Yeah. So this you would just you can you want to try it? You want me to do it? Now what's that? Gonna, oh, is that this is take alcohol. It moves. It spreads it around. Uh huh. More and more. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try it? That's nice. It's, uh, do a couple of What's it doing? What's it doing? Making it, it, it makes it move. Yeah. Does it enhance the color? It actually spreads it out and moves it. I know. You feel like they're telling us to go home. <laughs> What? Well, just the blue, the way it's 
Oh, yeah, I just thought it would be Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank Twenty-five past. So oh, you're welcome. Oh, wait. I live in town, so you're doing the. Let's do the raffle no, before you go. I, I, I put my phone number. Oh, right. Here, okay. So. Okay. Yeah. That would, yeah. Yeah. No rush. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, good. good. I'm glad. So I'll bring it home and steam it, and then we'll let you get. Yeah. Oh, did you take a card? Are you part of Arts Whaling? I am, but I haven't really done anything okay. with it yet. I'm in, I'm in that too. So okay. Go to the craft fair this weekend. Is it Saturday or Sunday? Uh, both days. Oh, okay. Yeah. Both days. Yeah. <laughs> okay. At the W. <coughs> yeah. Anybody need a card? Yeah. Did you get a card? I did. Okay. I'll take a card. Because <laughs> you don't know what's ever going to happen. That's right. Perfect game, right? Yeah, you got the perfect uh, <laughs> illustration. <laughs> so you, do you go to shows? Oh, you're on Etsy. You're in Etsy. I'm in Etsy. I do craft beers. I have a website. How does that work out for you, the Etsy? Etsy's, it's slow. As they're doing all these different things with their algorithms, and they they change a lot of things around. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing some photography, and there's a, a couple of people who are doing the exact same thing, which is taking a photograph and making the pixels, little pixels, which I did oh. some time ago. So you can make an image of a person, right? And it's kind of coarse because there's pictures, but you realize you put the whole family in the face of an individual, so it's sort of kind of yeah. There's something emotionally really satisfying about that. And they don't know how to sell it, so their their presentation is such that they say, "Well, go over here and see this," and it doesn't work yeah. because their their website isn't particularly well. Set. Right. Um, and I guess that's up to the people who set up who, whatever they you pay for, and then you do what you want, right? Yeah. It's your site. Well, for the Etsy, oh, for for my own website, um, I, yeah, it's basic. Mine's basic because you didn't get too I don't want to spend too much time on it because that's not where my passion is. You know, I want to actually do the stuff. And in the during the holiday season, I'll do the craft fairs like once a month. Oh, good. So, yeah, once a month. It's too much work to do. The biggest problem is you got to be there for eight hours or yeah. ten hours. It's exhausting. You, you have, have to. I have grid walls you that make I bring. The thing and then you spend 22 hours trying to sell it while you sit there crocheting. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be brighter. Brighter. Yeah, this, that's what the steaming does. It really just makes you, you know, go. What's also nice about a scarf is you never see it like this. Right. You'll it's never see it like this again. Right. You, know, you put it on and yeah. you get little pieces. You get little of pieces it, of the colors. It doesn't make too much difference yeah. what's on the scarf because you get a picture of New York City and you yeah. see a little bit of a building here and a little, you can't see it. Yeah. But the colors are, are what what makes it. Yeah. Oh, good. We finished. <laughs> In the car. You're going to take that right as a pipe, the whole frame? Yeah, oh yeah, I'll leave it on the frame. It's not dry. Huh? Yeah, no roof rack. In the car. <laughs> Thanks. So, how does it happen to do this on the first time? Oh, um, one of the. Yes, please. And uh, we'll just put them in a baggie after then. Yeah. Um, one of the ladies from work did uh, came in with her some silk scarves, but they were like the the burnout ones there. And she used an alter ego paint so that one part of it came out one color, another came out a different color. So I was like, oh, that's really nice. I would love to learn how to do something like that. And then um, Dan wanted me to. Yellow, yeah. I think that's over there. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is yellow. Yeah, so Dan wanted me to do something for his website with his logo on it, but I did some, and it turns out that his logo looks like a Playboy bunny when he do it on silk. So <laughs> I said, okay, well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Yeah.
You could, yeah. But I don't have any silk screen stuff. <laughs> Thanks. You know what? There's a restroom here. We could just rinse them out there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> for this. Yeah. You put your name in, right? Yeah. Oh, who wants to do that? Let's do that. The drawing. Yes, do the drawing. Which one? Rose, you want to do the drawing? Which one the big one. The big one. I can't mess that up too much. <laughs> All right, wait. Is everybody feeling lucky? All right. It's you. <laughs> Charlotte. Charlotte. Did she, oh. <laughs> you got it. It's your colors, too, Charlotte. It's perfect. Yay. Oh, maybe water. How about alcohol? Well, that's oh, yeah, alcohol will do it, too. Nice yeah. Alcohol, I think that will do it better because you use water, water. You can spread it. Water, too. So which... I got alcohol. Yeah. You know, maybe blotch it out. Spread it out. Um, I use the little bottle with the nib. It's a resist. Goes in a metallic resist is what I use. Oh, the, the go into the resist. Pour a little yeah. alcohol right on it. So you sign it first. Maybe if you pour a little no, alcohol. No, I, I, you have to wait till it's dry. Pour it on. Kathy, then what, you would. what is that, alcohol? That's you? alcohol. Pour some right on the carpet and let her soak it up, see what it works. Do a little more. Yeah. Go ahead, soak it up. Yeah, if you spread it, it's fine. It's better than the dark spot. <laughs> and now we get out before it dries. <laughs> what about this one? It's working, I think. Mm -hmm. Here, take another towel. Here's one. Oh my gosh, you guys. Here, take a clean one. Oh my gosh. The color get better? Look at that. Oh, that looks better. Charlotte, look at the color. Oh, no. Wow. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I am this. so excited. <laughs> this is such a good. <laughs> oh, thank you for cleaning that. Oh, I need a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take care. Oh. Oh. Giving away the other one? No. That, just that one. Oh, yeah, I will. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. Here, take 